As All right, everyone. Welcome today, back to Ace Combat the Seven. The Kingdom of has declared war on the Ocean Federation. As soon as the news broke out, enemy aircraft began bombing Ocean territory, causing widespread destruction. The Air Defense Force has released a statement saying this violent attack was carried out by drones. They speculate the drones were secretly transported to Osea in shipping containers and launched remotely. The Secretary of the Navy has stated that the enemy was targeting naval ports across the country. According to the Secretary, all of the nation's aircraft carriers, including one still under construction, sustained severe damage in the attacks. That's no bueno. We have yet to hear back from the department as to the fate of Ocean carriers currently at sea. Hold on. I've just received breaking news. The International Space Elevator, which is being built in southern Yuzha, has been seized by the Erusian Army. Reports say former President Harling was touring the site at the time, but his current whereabouts are unknown. Our sources in government tell us it was Harling's policies regarding the space elevator that caused economic frictions in the area, and which ultimately led to this war. Located near Erugia, on the continent of Yuzha, the space elevator has been under construction for some time now. The Executive Office of the Ocean Federation has declared a national state of emergency. They have ordered all its armed forces, including Yuzhin peacekeepers, to mobilize and make the necessary preparations to launch an immediate counterattack. Ladies and gentlemen, our country is officially at war. Stay tuned for further updates. Breaking news from ENN. ENN. Osea launched an attack on the capital today, striking Farbanti from their aircraft carrier, the Kestrel II. After a brutal battle, the Erujian Air Force successfully repelled them. During the air raid, the Ocean Air Force fired missiles at the city and managed to shoot down a number of Erujian fighters. Some of the disabled planes then crashed into residential areas. The world was screwed. Twenty years ago, the Earth got slammed by an asteroid. Yuja was on the wrong side of the planet and got hit. Hard. Refugees swarmed the Erujian Republic, the biggest country on the continent, plunging it into chaos. They were desperate and started a war, one they had no hope of winning. That's the war my dad fought and died in. The biggest nations from two continents went head to head, and the so-called Righteous Oceans struck the deal that ended it. They fancied themselves the only nation that could bring peace and stability to the world. They even tried saving the Yuzhans, still suffering from the disaster. That's how a space elevator, stretching way up into the sky, ended up being built in Yuzha. Paid for by the Oceans. President Harling said he did it out of compassion for his fellow humans. But to the folks in Erujia, it looked like Osea was moving in to take over. Erujia went from being a republic, back to being a kingdom. When they started this new war, they managed to get the drop on everyone. The second the declaration hit the news, Erujian forces took control of the space elevator without spilling a single drop of blood. President Harling was touring the elevator when it happened and disappeared. Then, while that was going on, the Erujian ships that were docked all around Osea released a swarm of drone fighters they had hidden on board in containers. No one thought they were capable of doing what they did that day. With pinpoint accuracy, they managed to take out everything that was military, and not a single civilian was hurt in the process. Osea pissed lots of people off with their huge military presence around the world. Erujia didn't have the same reach, but they could hit their targets faster and cleaner. And when all this was going down, I just so happened to be in my flying drag racer. In case you were wondering, yeah, I survived. I crashed in a bombed out Ocean Air Force base, then got arrested for breaking wartime aviation laws or some crap. The world went from being at peace to being at war, all in the blink of an eye.
I was tried, found guilty, and stuffed into a cargo ship. For company, I had some court-martialed soldiers. And remember those mothballed planes I told you about before? They were loaded on the ship, too. We headed off down south for several days, and then swung east. That's how I got here. I was thousands of kilometers from Arusia, on the opposite side of the Yuzian continent. For a port, it was dull as hell. It had three rusty patrol boats. And the base? The fences were topped with razor wire, the tower had a searchlight and machine guns, and a truck with a gun turret was parked in front of the gate. Its gun was aimed at the yard. This was a prison. This place looked like a full-on base, but half the tanker trucks were just big balloons, and the runways weren't even paved, just painted on the dirt. The whole place was just one big fat lie. The only reason I was here is because they knew I'd restored a supersonic plane. They wanted me to make something out of the mothballed planes they brought that they could park on the fake runway. Can you believe that shit? So, I tried to escape. They found out and set the dogs on me. Charge the enemy, what are we doing? Eruja has made a declaration to the Ocean Federation and all countries on the Yuzhen continent stationing the IUN Peacekeeping Force that we are now at war. Right after the declaration was made, surprise attacks began around the continent that have inflicted major damage to our armed forces. Forces aligned with Eruja are currently appearing throughout Yuzhen. The combination of these forces has overwhelmed the majority of the continent, and they are now encroaching on us in the east. Additionally, the multinational space elevator has been seized by the Erujian military. After the previous war, the space elevator became both a symbol of peace and a valuable asset in the fight against growing energy concerns. Whoever has control of it will have enormous influence over the entire continent. We cannot turn a blind eye to this critical situation. The Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron has been entered into the order of battle to reclaim the elevator as an advanced element. First, you will attack all hostiles coming in the east of Schofield Plateau to stop any interference with the Allied ground troops. The enemy has deployed several vehicles equipped with anti-air radar along the roads. You are to destroy them. They should not pose much of a threat. Go oh, air to ground, okay? There is a high likelihood that the attack will draw more enemy air support. So we're gonna need if air to ground happens, and air to air. Fight them off swiftly and establish air superiority. All right, let's see what we're doing here. Basically just taking out stuff on the ground. Air vehicles, basically. There's probably gonna be some air support as well, but that's okay. Aircraft tree. Alright, so we've unlocked a bunch of stuff. Can we go, okay, stop. Can I look around, please? Oh my hell. Okay, these are the new car, the new, new cars, new jets we have. Unlock stuff for them. Interesting, interesting. Okay, what I remember wanting and seeing is, where is it? This guy right here, A-10C, that's what we want. What's the quickest way to the A-10C? The F-14D, can we unlock this? Yes, we want that. Through all the stuff, we've got DLC stuff we can use, but we're not, I mean, we're gonna use it until we get to the plane that I want. A10C, that's what we want. We've got 9,000 so far, but we want... Yeah, we're gonna... Unguided bombs, unguided anti-surface, 
air to surface. Yes, that's what we want. We want the 4 AGM and the A10C because it's got super slow speed, but it's got super good air to ground. Anyway, that was my favorite plane when I started playing this game. Let's jump in and find something that's not super OP to jump into, shall we? get in this fifth gen i mean it's not super over overpowered it is still definitely overpowered but uh the fifth gen i want to try this out this is like the f-35 we've got land attack cruise missiles high capacity air to air missiles fast loading we're gonna try land land attack cruise missiles because they look cool all right let's try this out Mage squadron sorty asap the current target is on rails but there's still military vehicles and anti-air weaponry destroy the target oh this thing looks HQ sweet clear that no harm should come to civilians and no damage is to be done to public facilities this thing's real fast too holy cow on the anti-air radar vehicles they should be close yep how do we fire these anyway oh like that it's popping off now trigger okay, we haven't used any of our our stuff from last the last time I guess whoops okay We have to, we don't have to control that, do we? Nope. Interesting. Sweet. Target destroyed. Five to go. We don't have any anti-air weapons. Get the fighters out there. Protect the radar vehicle. They've got their anti-air guns aimed right at us. Thing is sick. Target destroyed. Three to go. Continue to engage at your discretion. Enemy interceptors inbound. Prepare to engage All right, this jet is seconds. dope. These weapons are sick too. Take them down. Okay, recruits. Pay attention to who's on what side. The newest IFF is connected to our entire force via satellites. It's reliable, so trust your radars. Two targets remaining. That was the wrong button. Oh, we just wasted another missile like a genius. Want some serious G's? Getting shit all wet. Pop flares. Okay, I have no idea how we change or how we. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how we dodge or pop flares or anything. We just have to dodge them? We may just have to dodge them. So stay out of the clouds. Fox two. Fox two. Lower down, coming in way too hot. Careful of ice formation in the clouds. Missile 
Oh, we missed him. Damn, we almost ran into him, actually. Oh, getting a little close to the ground there for my liking. Lower down. Stay behind him. Can't hit him. There we go. Hit him. They fled to the clouds. Doesn't stop They're my bullets. Locked. Got him. He dodged it. That's a hit. Ooh, coming in too hot. Don't ice up in there. Don't you tell me what to do? We're actually gonna fly out of the clouds if we can. Let's go get that C-17. Then I'll get him. Damn, did that C-17 pull like a super sharp turn? What the heck? Got him. Oh, what the hell was that? Oh no! Rest in peace. Current target is on rails. Oh, bro, we have to restart the whole thing? Are you kidding me? Okay, well, uh, you guys are gonna see it from here on because we crashed. Interesting. How many of these do we have? Land? 22? Okay, let's use these. Oh, don't hit the mountain. Good stuff. Are you... Oh, there's power lines that we very nearly just crashed into. That could have been terrible. Camera's very sensitive, my bad. We're just going after the targets. We're not worrying about any of the other stuff. Did we? Okay, there's something behind us, but I think it's gone now. We get it? Ow, yes we did. We get it? I think we got it. Take them down. Okay, recruits. Pay attention to who's on what side. The newest IFF is connected to our entire force via satellite. There's no way we didn't get that one back there. You're kidding me. Trigger, there's one more to go. nice thing about these land attack cruise missiles is they freaking lock on miles away. Holy cow. Okay, let's go back down there. That's where we need to be. Okay, we gotta get the interceptors. There's stuff on the ground as well. We've got lots of missiles. Let's use them. down we're going way too quick it nice 
ask in a language we can understand. The clouds don't just affect your field of vision. Calm down. With your HUD and radar. The Seekers can sometimes lose their lock on to their targets, too. Nice, we railed them. Oh, there's one. Oh, uh, that was not one. That was a friendly. Enemy will crash in a residential area. Just worry about staying alive for now. Why not instruments only right now? Holy cow. Oh, we got hit. Shoot. Push out of here. There's planes on the ground that we need to shoot. I did not know that. Oh, what the hell was that? What the hell was that? That was nuts. ATC. Column two, you can't go after every target. Got him. This base is worth destroying. Five Ooh, hello. There are already one in the air. The C seventeen if we can. Enemy transport destroyed. There's more. Four targets remaining. The MIG coming after me, let's get him. Brakes, come on, slow Brakes down. There we go. Missiles. Got him. Nice. What's the last one? Oh, there's two left. Another one's a MIG. Oh, I think we got that air traffic control that we didn't get as well. Got him as well. Nice. Oh, drones. That's bullshit. He did call. We heard it earlier. He called for something that said strategic advantage. They said there's supposed to be strategic advantage. And Multiple bogies on radar. They're close. Wait, they're being launched. All right, here we go. They're probably hostile. Judging by the way they look and move, they gotta be drones. Yeah, I'll say. Holy cow. Spotted clown. No doubt about it. We're dealing with UAVs. But that doesn't change a thing. Just think of them as somewhat clever decoys. Take them all down. These drones have great agility. All aircraft. You know what IG turns are, right? Use them. HQ, this is Golem 1. Bandits confirmed as UAVs. Oh, I forgot we could do that. Dude, that's sick. Golem 1, that doesn't matter. Destroy all enemy fighters and get out. It doesn't matter. He's saying the war can change in an instant. Get over it. Yeah, I just wish they'd give us a bit more warning. Oh, come on. Bandit coming at you. Lower down. Feels like I'm riding a roller coaster up here. There's some fancy acrobatic stuff you can do as well. I think it's... Well, that ain't it. There's some fancy nonsense you can do. I just don't remember what to do. Like a, a stall turn or something like that. It's kind of crazy. We lost those. Get him. Damn, these guys are elusive. Mage two, 
Get him. Come on. Got him. Okay. Oh no. I tried to dodge it. Didn't work. Bro, come on. The target is right behind me. Stop doing that. It's annoying. Got him. Nice. Way to go. Let's get through this without any casualties. Missile launched. Come on, get me here. Ooh, we very nearly hit a teammate there. Yeah, well, that's where he's flying around at, so it's all I got. Kind of hard to chase this bitch. Dang, he's hauling. Got him. Nice. Nice kill trigger. Enemy aircraft confirmed down. The skies are clear. Nice work, everyone. Caution. Mission complete. RTP. No casualties. We couldn't have done any better. Returning to base. I don't know. Maybe Caution. the bandits we took down caused civilian casualties. Probably. No point arguing. That's how war is these days. Caution. You shoot, someone gets killed. The guys in charge take care of the rest. 